quite a burden on here and uh, we're not actually going out for any longer than a couple of hours but uh, we've got a couple of Tom's guns what have we got out with this Tom? we have a uh, CZ 452 and 22 Magnum and a Ruger 1022 so we're going to play with it and uh, I've got a bit of a review to do for the guys at Bushwear hang on, up, or hang right, sorry. on their uh, pop-up hides which This is land that Tom has uh, permission to shoot in. Um, there's lambs, sheep, goat, and uh, okay, guys. So um, one of the things I was wanted to get done today while I was out was uh, the Bushware pop-up hide. Okay, this is the old model, the model which uh, was given to me as a loaner by a friend, and which I've used uh, out watching foxes and badgers in a couple of different locations. And then this is the new one um, from Bushware. I'm going to assemble both of them in the field, uh, let you see them how they work, how great they are for not just for wildlife watchers but if you are a gun enthusiast, if you like shooting, hunting, if you're out taking out game and game birds, uh, the benefits of having one of these. Uh, the, the, the improvements straight away, you can see the, the bag that they've supplied for, the, the chair has com been completely redesigned and it's worn as a backpack. So it's just a simple matter of taking this hide, throwing it on, and carrying it to your location. When it's on the back, it's really light, very, very snug to the body. And I've crossed two fences um, and came across a lot of loose ground to get here, and it's not cumbersome at all. It's a really natural fit to the body. So we're going to stop for now. We're going to assemble the two and just let you see what's involved in that. Okay, so out of the bag, I'm just going to set this away so it doesn't blow off on us. And that's the older one, this is the newest one. Um, tent pegs come also on a handy bag, and it's just simply a fold and chair design. So if we lift this chair up, and secure it, you have a fold and chair on site. Comes with cup holders, and what would make a brilliant ammo holder um, good material robust chair so how does this turn into a hide it's a simple transformation and as I've called it before in a previous video it's a bit of a prepper pram it's just like a kid's buggy the hood pulls up over And inside, you have full cover. Okay, we're just going to show you the different securing points and how to make this a place that you can sit in all weathers whenever you're out in the field. Old model, new model, just up beside each other. And both has, have pros and cons. Um, we're just going to take a quick look at them. It has simple tie downs, pegged to hold it in place and very spacious inside there's a 360 viewing gallery which uh, is very conveniently controlled by magnets not velcros or poppers because that would cause noise and when you're trying to hunt or observe wildlife you want quiet so that's the old model just going to take a look at the new one and you can see the shape's slightly different it has a lower profile um, and today's wind which is actually better it seems to be throwing the wind around itself a lot easier we'll just take a look inside and it's automatic opening hello <laughs> squatters eh so move in <laughs> so tom what's it like for space this is fantastic i'm six foot two and i have 
ample headroom. I have at least, I would say, at least six, seven inches headroom. Shoulders are grand. You don't find it very enclosed. Uh, the best feature I love, especially when for me as a, as a hunter, is uh, the viewing windows. Say so just with mine, it's, it is fantastic. Just to be able to protect your scent for if you're out hunting. But even just if you do hear something, just to be able to have a quick look through and see if that's something that you're interested in shooting in. Again, from a hunter's point of view, I'm not going to be sitting like this. Uh, not going to stick my rifle in like that. I'm going to be probably a bit more discreet. Depending if you're left or right handed. And then when you spot your prey or whatever you're going to go after, you can go from here. So you're not exposing a massive amount um, of room noise. But it's really comfortable. The fit and finish inside is fantastic. And it's very, very spacious. Loads of room. Kick your legs out. Relax. It's uh, very, very comfortable. Okay, guys. So uh, we're going to get the it's both the hides in. We're going to get a couple of guns here with us. We're going to get the men and, and actually take a gun into the hide. See, so, see what sort of room we have. How we can move about inside it. And uh, it's a windy day, probably picking up a lot of wind noise. Um, windy day, but the heights are being robust. Um, they're doing what they're meant to. Um, they're protecting us from the elements. Uh, they're they're stopping our scent from being carried, and they're giving us us a spot where we can um, observe around us and and listen uh, for signs of whether it's prey or an animal that we're trying to observe. Okay, just going to take a wee look at uh, the two different aspects of the bush hide from a hunting perspective and from a wildlife watching perspective, just to see how they would work in operation for you and what you'd be able to do with them. Uh, Tom is the man that's armed and dangerous, so we're going to go to him first um, and let's see what he thinks of the, the room that's available with his. Which what were we using? This is the CZ452. CZ452, which will mean something to somebody, nothing to me. Okay, over to Tom. Grant, so we've got is a standard CZ452 chambered in 22 Magnum. Um, obviously, if the guys are going to go for something like a 223 center fire, you're still chatting roughly the same sort of length. Uh, but this is just a simple bolt action and rim fire. But in here in the tent, what I can do is have my legs spread nicely just to give myself a nice firm position and I'm mounting the gun but able to get a nice position extremely solid my feet are planted down nicely my elbows are resting nicely on my knees I'm not moving and I have a lovely sight picture very very still yes if I'm going to I'm not going to sit with the gun out most of the time unless I'm going to take a shot but it's very easy just to bring the gun back and just observe I'm in ready just come up rest easy and take a shot very very nice go to room in here actually in the bottom of the bag are the the hide. I've got my kit bag there, so I've got ammunition in here. I've got um, just a simple shooting bag, so I've got all the ammunition that I need just to be able to take out. I can put it in the pockets here if I need to. I can get a, a cup of coffee if I want. Just to sit out. If I'm going to sit out stock for a while. Absolutely fantastic. Just sit out. The particular lamb we're on now having issues with foxes, so I've been able to sit out here on a cold evening generating heat inside here with your own body to keep yourself warm it'd just be fantastic and then to be able just to easily come out mount up take a shot and then carry on away so perfect these heights have been very very useful to me tonight or today here we're at we're at a lovely river um there's foxes there's badgers there may well be otters there's going to be other wildlife using this river uh, not only as a resource but to move up and down so we put the hide beside a river, we find a good location, all right? We've seen a few tracks about, so we know we're in the right area. So getting in, 
behind it, like I said, it's just like a pram, like a buggy. It's a simple, simple design. So you just plant yourself into the seat. And envelop yourself. Now, if it is a windy day like today, zip up the front. Have a tent peg here. And that's going to stop any access when pulling about. Grab my field scope, set it inside, find myself a good location. Like this, this tripod is quite, quite wide, it's fully expanded inside. I still have plenty of room for my feet. I lock myself up inside, and uh, that's it. I can sit here now for whatever length of period of time I choose. Use my field scope and just watch the local area quietly and content, safe from the elements. My scent's not going to be carried by the wind. If it starts to rain, I've got plenty of, uh, of cover. If it gets too much, I can partially close this up and still have my line of view of where I'm going. Um, I am always going to have one with me now when I'm out to look for wildlife. So dependable. We've got high winds here today, and I don't feel a thing in here. Totally safe. So, you know what, guys? Bushware, check them out. These things don't cost a fortune. Um, you're going to get lots of use out of them. Um, the first one did me proud. This one. Um, it means not only because they are one person, they do a two person. I don't really fancy getting in something like this with another guy. So if I'm out with friends, I can take the second one out and uh, we can have a good day's wildlife observation, or wildlife observing or, or hunting, uh, whatever it needs to be. But for now, I'm going to get a brew on. I'm going to chill out in here and uh, I hope you enjoy. I hope you check out Bushware. Good guys, um, great products, thank you. Good to go. Okay, quickly guys, just another little item from uh, the guys at Bushware. A simple folding chair. Um, <laughs> earlier today we weight tested this chair um, and it held uh, 20 stone of a gentleman who I'll not mention. But uh, it's a great chair. One of the things I like about the chair is simply the way that you sit on it. Um, if Tom takes the camera please. I would like to say, first of all, I was not the 20 stone person. <laughs> Nor I. I. I will weigh in at 17 and a half stone and sit on it comfortably. Um, what I like about it is, without showing too much crotch action, is the fact that, that the that. weight is divided across the soft part of the chair. And a lot of uh, folding seats come with a bar at the front that gets to your legs after a bit. But this one here allows you to be very, very comfy. You can throw all your weight into it. Um, 
look, no hands, no legs, uh, with uh, a lot of security. And it's as simple as a pickup and go. Comes with a nifty little camo bag, but that chair, if you're out for a day's hike, bit of sporting, wildlife sporting, you get to a nice place where you want to have a brew. And do you know what? As much as we like to you guys, it's not always nice to sit in the cold. But when you get to a point where you want to sit down, watch what's going on around you. Fort much fun with that.